G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Kimili. So yesterday night we ministered and uh, we prophesied to about 30 people. And so um, I went then and I made the list and to see how many more people has put their names on the list so that we can minister to them. So then I saw there's 52 more people that put their names. So if you add them all up together, it's the 30 that we did plus 52. It's 82 people. So this is wonderful, uh, but it's, it's a little bit more than I expected. So I said to Kimi, okay, let's just sit and let's just minister to the first 22 people, just me and her now. And then I'll sit with Jan and Charmaine uh, when they come later. And then we'll minister to the next group of people. So I'm just kind of doing it a little bit in sessions today. So me and Kimi are going to sit now and we're going to minister to 11 people. Uh, now, yo, will we do it? Now, we'll, we'll minister to 10 people right now. And then to, uh, for tomorrow's video, we'll minister to 12. And then you'll see there's three more. So we're going to end up doing five videos of about 10 or 12 every single one of the videos. The first person I want to minister to is Christine Heinz. So, Christine, um, what the Lord is showing to me is a backpack of His provision for you and your life. Now, what's interesting about a backpack, in, instead of seeing a tree or a harvest, but to see a backpack, it means it's the skills, it's the maturity, it's the anointing, it's the mantle of God that the Lord has given to you. And I felt that the Lord says, daughter, over these years, I've really built your character, I've given you an anointing, the skills, the wisdom uh, to go anywhere. Now, a backpack is usually for someone that's going to climb over a mountain or go over a difficult terrain. Uh, but I felt that you are well prepared and you're going to climb over this mountain. And I felt that you had a one season in your life that is complete. You're climbing over the mountain with this backpack full of experience and anointing that God has given to you. And you climb over the horizon. And once you're over, then I see how the Lord opened up vision. So if you feel right now, you don't have vision. I feel the Lord says, don't fear, don't get anxious. Just trust in the Lord, keep going. He's giving you what you need. And then you're going to get to a high point where there's going to be a massive breakthrough and a release. And then you're going to get catch vision for the next season. God bless you. Amen. Uh, Susan, the Lord shows me how He's stirring the waters. I see how He's changing the tides. There is something new that the Lord is bringing in. And I see how you stand ready to receive it. Uh, the Lord is wanting you to, to sit down and just receive. There is like a time for of releasing. And right now the Lord is saying, daughter, I'm releasing onto you for you to receive this new wave that I'm pouring onto you. And, and I see this wave is going to bring revelation and provision and a new mindset of you have everything you need in the Father. Be blessed. Okay, Susan, uh, Susan God bless you. Uh, he's and uh, upon your life. Okay, so next is uh, Tanya. Uh, so Tanya, what the Lord is showing to me is how you are really busy. You're working really hard. You, you, you put effort in, in many areas. But I felt that the Lord says you don't always apply wisdom. So you don't get a good return on all the activities. And so the Lord is going to show you how to cut this one and cut that one and cut that one. Because at the end of the day, it's only one or two or three things that really matter. It's not seven things that matters in your life. And I felt, felt that the Lord says, daughter, today I'm teaching you how to rest, how to be obedient, how to get strategy from my throne room. And the Lord is putting just that anointing on you to sit on that seat of the government of rest that he has for your life. So Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, uh, there from verse 28, 29, he said there, uh, be yoked with me. So when you're yoked with him, meaning you walk with him. He shows you the way. And I felt that the Lord is going to show you. You don't have to do these things anymore. It's not required of you. And so then the Lord says uh, that He is going to tell you. But this is important. Focus on that one thing. And I felt then you're going to get a lot more return, a lot more provision, a lot more happiness. And not feeling tired and so overexhausted because you got to do all these 10 things that you think you need to do. God bless you. Uh, amen. Uh, to the Lord shows me how, how you feel like you have your back up against the wall, how you feel like you have nowhere else to go. And the Lord is, is, is reminding you, He's bringing you back to what He has spoken to you and what you can speak. How you can speak life over your situation where you are. The, your mouth is a sword and the Lord says that when you speak, it will be so. When you speak according to His will. And the Lord shows me, I was going to reveal that to you, how you have it at hand in His Word. And I see how you just start declaring Scripture. And you remove yourself from that position of fear and of 
feeling like you are a hostage but the Lord says no that is not who you are that is not where I have placed you you can with the power and the authority that the Lord has given to you take yourself out of that situation because the Lord has given you that authority be blessed all right Teru, God bless you his hands upon you so Willem uh, the Lord is just showing to me how you're going through a training school how he's giving you a mentor to teach and train you and how the Lord is teaching you to walk as a king and I felt like there is a Solomon anointing upon your life. And so Solomon inherited already a kingdom. He uh, inherited peace. And he had in, uh, received from the Lord understanding and wisdom. And I believe that's what the Lord is giving to you. And the Lord says, you are a peacemaker. You are a man of peace. And the Lord is going to bring massive wealth upon your life. Because you've been faithful to serve the Lord. And to give and to be available. And to use what you have. And, and, and to be a good steward and I believe that the Lord says massive increase is going to be is coming on your life just because of that anointing and that call that's on you God bless you Willem Amen Willem please leave us a comment this next word is for Prophet Joel Joel the Lord shows me how there's going to be a shaking there needs to be a shaking the Lord says that you need to come at the end of yourself and that is not anything that you can do through your own strength you are Jesus has paid it all on the cross. There's nothing that we can do. The only thing that we can do is surrender. And that is what the Lord is asking. He wants to, to plant something in you to start releasing, but you need to surrender yourself to the Lord. And I see how the Lord is just going to start moving you, how there is a shaking coming for you and for your ministry, how the ground will be broken and the water will spring up a well and there will be freedom there when you release start releasing that freedom and the Lord is asking you to just come to the end of yourself and begin hit this new this new way that the Lord wants you to start um, place when pl placing in in party be blessed yes all right uh, so prophet Joel uh, I, I want to tell you what the Lord shows me he shows me two platforms Platform one is a platform of words of knowledge and healings. Platform one. And I felt that platform is being established in your life. And the Lord says massive healings, miracles is going to happen. But they each, each time it's going to be uh, succeeded by, uh, or you're first going to give a word of knowledge. Uh, the Lord is going to show you the miracle. Then you're going to speak it and then it's going to be released. And you're going to build that platform. Once that platform is uh, built, then the Lord says, I'm going to give you a local platform. That's like a governmental platform where you're going to speak over the region. Then leaders, business leaders will come to you, even pastors, and you will speak the word of the Lord to them. And many of them, again, you will see that the word of knowledge followed by the healing. Okay, And then the Lord will open up a bigger platform that's more national for you in your life. But I felt right now, individuals... Are going to receive ministry and it's going to be it's going to what what activates it is that word of knowledge and that's the anointing that god gives you all right so the next person i want to minister is manuel hurtado uh carmano all right so um uh, um manuel uh, uh, when you when you type the word i was i couldn't figure out which one is the the first name and which is the last name and how the order is so i just put all of that in there um and um uh, I love you and I appreciate you, brother. So I just put the whole thing just like that, just like you did it. Okay. So, uh, Manuel, what I felt the Lord is speaking to you. Uh, you are speaking uh, that you're going to be a door for provision. So I saw a dry and a hard ground. And then the rain of God came because you prayed and you trusted the Lord and you were faithful and you were kind. And your heart is open for God's love to flow through you. And then I saw the rain come and the provision of God's coming. But I saw the financial provision and then also the ministry were growing parallel. So it's as if that maturity in you produces money and it produces ministry. And so I see that the Lord says, you are not walking by yourself. You're walking in a family anointing. And I know Kim is going to uh, minister just now to Emmanuel Ben Joseph. But I see among all of you guys there, I, I believe that must be someone you know. But I believe among all of you, there is a family anointing that the Lord is releasing. And I see you and your brother and your sister and all of the different ones uh, in the, f uh, the, the family of God and even in the natural family start to walk in that anointing. And so as you walk in anointing, then it releases finances, number one, and then number two, ministry. God bless you. Um, amen. This next word 
that is for Emmanuel Ben Yosef. The Lord shows me this this fire and how this is representing you. How it is starting out as the uh, um, as a yellow fire and then it is turning to an orange and then red and then I don't I don't know the exact order but eventually it's gonna get to blue, which is the hottest it can be. And I hear the Lord saying that that is your fire for me, that it is growing stronger and that it is growing deeper. And I hear the Lord like calling out your name. He says, come deeper, come deeper, come and sit at my table. And I hear the Lord saying that I want you to start blessing people. I want you to start blessing them with your prayers, with your time. Um, and I hear and I see the Lord saying that you are going to help cr create a community of love and, and of unity. And, and there's, go, there's where the blessing is going to be. When you are in unity with your family, with your community, for the blessing that the Lord wants to pour out. Be blessed. Okay. Mario, God bless you. Uh, Bushy, uh, Paul. Uh, Bushy, the Lord is showing to me that you are a fountain of life. And I saw that the Lord says, no longer are you going to be half full or socially full, but you're going to be overflowing. And although you're a person that are very kind and you got very good manners, you're not going to let the anointing of God that flows out of you hold you back from ministering, for praying for people, to speaking the word of God, to speaking the wisdom of God out of you. And so I just saw that fountain being opened up and it's starting to release and it started to flow. And, and the Lord showed me a, a bottle and how that bottle was half for a long time and how the bottle was almost full for a long time. But now the bottle, you, you know, it's, it's not natural to see a bottle, but there's water just coming out of the bottle continuously as if it's a never ending uh, overflow. And I felt that's what the Lord is going to release in your life. God bless you, Bushy. Uh, amen, Carolina. The Lord shows me how he is just molding you and how he has placed you into this into this area and he says i want you to do my works here and you will do greater things than that of the lord because that is what he has imparted 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 He's put it inside of you to start releasing. And I, and I hear the Lord saying that I want you to sing my song i want you to call upon my name and i will be there the Lord says you are not walking alone and I see how he is holding up your head that even when Moses was fighting they had to hold up his hands that the, that, the, that the Lord will help them win the war and the Lord is holding up your head he says you do not have there's no strength in you but in him there is strength and that he is giving you the strength to, to continue to hold your head up and to have the confidence to speak be blessed Hello, Carolina God bless you thank you guys uh, I love each one of you. So uh, we got these 52 names. We're ministering uh, through them uh, in little portions. So you'll see tomorrow another video will come out. And then uh, every, you know, every day of the week you'll see videos coming out. Uh, and I'm just doing it uh, in that way because um, I don't want to put all of the, the names in one video. I'll, I'll rather do it in smaller sections. It's also easier for us. Uh, what we usually do before we start to minister, we just take some time. We pray in tongues. We pray about each one of you. Um, and then we sit down and we prophesy. And so this makes it easier for us to do it in smaller sections. I love and I appreciate each one of you. If you are new to Unity with Heaven and you say, wow, I would also would like to receive ministry. Just write your name in the comments and I'll go through the comments. I'll make another list again. And then once we through these 52 people, then we'll start on the next list of people. So just write your name in the comments. I won't forget it. I, I, I have a Word document and I just always... Uh, put the names and I just work through those names I, I try not to let anyone slip through so I love to minister to people I want to minister to people so if you need ministry write your name in a comment also uh, subscribe you can sign up to our newsletter if you want to give money you can click on the PayPal link and you can sow into unity with heaven uh, we are in ministry and we really appreciate when people sow into our ministry I love and appreciate each one of you God bless